really quick plants update after the return. The front yard is really good, but the backyard is dried because the sprinklers aren't working. Which also was off these bushes drooping every day, but coming back at night. But they didn't die, they still made it through, but this one looks a little kind of crappy because it's it really dried out. Uh, this one looks okay though. Well, these other ones look good. They're all in, just a really quick video. It's probably gonna be 60 seconds. This, 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 these here. These over here are pretty large. You can see they grew quite a bit since. And that there, I'm getting soaked. Has grown quite a bit since. This bush here looks great still, but I just, that's the one I really need to focus on watering is right there. Uh, grass is getting watered now. Even though it's daytime, I don't care. It's getting watered for two and a half hours. We don't pay for our water here. Uh, and we have so much water here. It just goes back and the air falls back down and is used again. So, but here's these plants. They're really good. That one's a little drooped. It's getting so much water on it at the, this moment there. But uh, yeah, it's still those three look really great. Over here, these daylilies are really blooming. This is the last video I posted here of this daylily. And it looks great now, full bloomed. These all look great. There's that long stem right here that we were talking about earlier. It's already got a couple bloom stalks developed. <clears throat> this one here is looking pretty good, along with this here. This one here was the, the least slowest growing one, but it really comes in nice. And all those are looking great, with all these looking great as well. We do have some enveloping weeds, as here, these things are horrible. Look at that, right up through the plant. But they are pullable. Sorry for the weird voice, I'm just getting over. Weird, really weird thing, not even a sore, not even a sickness, just a lot of irritation, I think. Cobblestone throat or whatever it's called, but uh, here, these uh, tyreas here are uh, looking really good. Getting ready to bloom for this autumn. And this juniper has so, so far came back. It's got a lot of new growth pushed up the areas that weren't dead. I did prune out the other dead areas to let these areas do their thing, and it looks pretty great. These trees are uh, sending more shoots. They're looking a little fluffy again, but I'm not going to prune them again. Yesterday, the hose, I wasn't back yet, but yesterday the hose fell on this and snapped that limb. I'm going to cut that limb off. I don't know what we're losing, but we might have a bare spot there, but that's kind of just what happens. These here are definitely doing their thing. I tucked this back behind the little protective fence thing here. So it's kind of acting it as a hold. So hopefully those things will turn into a bush in the next year here. This grass over here was so high, like it was up to here on your legs, literally. Um, that's why it looks a little crazy still, but it looks pretty good now. It's probably gonna brown a little bit due to the amount cut off, but look at this. This bush is amazing, but if you look back, that's a weed, yes, sticking up through the bush. Uh, so if I can try, and grab that, pull it. That's how far it protruded into the bush. These things were a joke. <sighs> but I already got the yard mode. It looks horrible. Uh, so yeah. But look at those blooms on that plant. Oh my God, amazing. These all get dripped, so these plants are all growing amazingly. I did a test, I left, I, before we left for the three weeks, I cut a stick off one of those trees, put it in the fence, by the time we got back, it was crisped. The stick snapped right in half. So that's how much water these plants need over a period like that. And these survived without any of it. Um, just off enough what was in the ground. So that was risky, but we're good. I'm going to water them well. I already watered them. A sprinkler, I'm going to set them real close so it waters the heck out of them. And we'll be good. But those roots kept them because when they get to that point, it's just, it's, just mo it's just slight drought. The inner leaves will start to dry, crisp, so the rest of the plant can get enough water. Uh, but if they're good like this, none of the leaves crisp at all. They just keep going. Uh, but this one is amazing. It is way better than it was last year. Absolutely amazing. This here, it's always been like this. It's always been getting grass coming up. We live on a swamp, you guys, literally. We literally live on a swamp. We deal with this. We have landscape fabric down, but this, we just never replaced it here. This one's doing great too. And this one over here is doing great as well. I just come out with the weed eater and we need it all down. I got to do that today too. Uh, but yeah, this one's doing great as well. So the water demand on plants is really high when you're uh, in these hot months like this. But when we left, we were straight in 90 degrees for about a week and a half without a drop of rain. Uh, and no one here to water these plants. 
other than a rip system in the front yard. That's why the front yard looks so much better than the backyard. But the backyard, the potentillas did their thing. They seem to be okay, but those, because they have smaller leaves, but those uh, dogwoods there do seem a little bit, uh, where are you guys at? These guys all jumped the fence and went and chased the cat. Where are you at? So they are sitting up here because I'm not ready to go chase them today if I have to. Uh, this one here, it needs some water too. So this whole area needs some water, which I'll give it tonight. But for now, the grass is getting some water because uh, it hasn't got water in three weeks. But everything else is looking great. The fountains are on here now too, which consistently moistens this front part of grass, which will hopefully continue to contribute to that bush getting some water. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly. This bush here, it looks dense throughout the canopy. Here, you can see if you look from like here, and pull in there, you can see some really uh, crazy looks. And this is an established plant. You shouldn't be seeing any of that crisping on the leaves there. You could even notice some on this plant, but not as severe, because I was checking that camera there and I saw well, it was like that really hot day. All the leaves were drooped. I thought it was dead from then, but it pulled, it came back up at night and it pulled through. Plants do that to save the water as long as possible. Now that I'm here, I'm going to ground them with water and they'll fill right back in. And so, yeah, that's the plant update for coming back. We'll see you guys in the next one.